Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today I'm going to be doing the content creator tag. Now I was tagged for this by the Horrific Podcast and I will leave a description to their channel, excuse me, a link to their channel in the description. Uh, this is one of those that I looked at and I said, did I do this tag already? I don't think I have, but if I did, then oh well. I mean, I probably have a, a ton of tags that I probably did already or didn't realize or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, there are seven questions here, so let's go ahead and get underway. Uh, first up, what made you decide to become a content creator? Uh, it was one of those things, it was kind of a combination of things. Uh, first of all, I kept looking at all these other uh, booktube and just regular YouTube videos, and I thought, you know what, there's all these people out there that are making videos, I'd like or uh, have, having channels and stuff, I've been... Uh, uh, member or whatever, if you want to call it, of YouTube since 2012. It wasn't until 2019 uh, that I started making videos. So, yeah, it took me a little bit of time, but basically it's just a combination of I love books, I love movies, especially horror books and horror movies, all right? I mean, that's why my channel is called Books of Blood, uh, and I don't necessarily just talk about books. I talk about movies. I do uh, music stuff also once a month. Um, but yeah, mainly my stuff is about horror and horror books. And I just looked around and I said, well, you know what? Everybody else is doing this. So why don't I just go ahead and hop on and try to do it myself? All right. And here I am. It is 2021 and I've been doing it. I think over a year now, I didn't do a year anniversary thing. I don't even remember when my first video actually went up. I don't remember that. So, you know, but if it's been over a year, happy anniversary to me. All right. <clears throat> what has been your biggest accomplish accomplishment to date? Uh, I'm, I take it that means a content creator. Um, I really don't know. I mean, I mean, I've participated in readathons. Uh, I've participated. I've done my own readathon thing, the Halloween creature feature reading extravaganza. Um, I guess my biggest accomplishment was getting to the 500 subscriber mark, and now I'm up to, unless somebody is unsubscribed, I'm up to 839 subscribers, uh, which it seems like every time I say that on my channel, I'll look and it'll be like less than that or whatever, less than the number I said. So really to me, the biggest accomplishment was just getting to the 500 subscribers because to be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to make 100 subscribers. I didn't think I was going to make 10 subscribers. I figured you guys would think, who the hell is this guy and would just completely ignore me, but you haven't done that and it really overwhelms me. I mean, there's just the one side of me wants to go, thank you very much. The other side of me wants to go, what the hell is wrong with y'all? Anyway, thank you very much. That is my biggest accomplishment, getting so far, getting to 500 and beyond. So I'm waiting on 1,000. That's all I got to say. Anyway, all right. Uh, number three, do you struggle with social media? Do I struggle with it? Oh, gosh. I don't really have a lot of trouble with Instagram. In fact, I think they may, besides uh, YouTube, they may be my favorite form of social media because I like putting up pictures of stuff. I like showing off my books. I like showing off my albums or my CDs or whatever. Any new uh, geeky toy that I got, I like to show off. So that I don't have trouble with. Twitter is another story. Twitter is one of those that I don't... Um, I probably don't utilize it the way that I should utilize it, you know, to get my channel out there and get it advertised. Now, uh, when I do post a new video, it gets automatically, or not automatically, it gets shared to Twitter, it gets shared to Instagram, Facebook. Um, Facebook is a different beast altogether. To be honest with you, um, if I if if I didn't have to have Facebook to be able to use Facebook Messenger which is how I communicate with my wife and a few other people, then I would not have Facebook, all right? Because I'm so sick and tired of just this, I'm sorry, there's just stupid stuff that goes on there, all right? You know, uh, all this, um, a lot of political stuff, 
uh, I hate this stuff where it's like copy and paste this, and you'll have somebody go, it'll be like, you'll, you'll have something like, oh, I'm going to see how many friends I have. Copy and paste this and share and tell us where did we meet. Watch, nobody pays attention. You're right, I don't pay attention because I could care less about it, all right? It's just ridiculous. Everybody just jumps on that bandwagon. It's like, give me a break, okay? Um, yeah, so Facebook, I don't really have a whole lot of love for, all right? Uh, I am in a couple of Facebook groups, and but that is with people. Uh, uh, the one I'm in uh, for books is Book Lover's Corner. Uh, did I say that too fast? Book Lover's Corner. There we go. Uh, it is um, founded by and run, resided by um, myself, so to speak. I am a moderator, but it was founded by Paul over at Yankee Southerner. Uh, check it out because a lot of pe the people there are really friendly. You don't you don't get a lot of arguing like you do in a lot of groups. Anyway, I'm on a tangent. Uh, do I have trouble with social media? Do I struggle with it? Sometimes, yes. That's the shortest answer, or the short answer. All right. Um, what frustrates you most? Excuse me. What frustrates you most about other content creators? Oh, are you trying to get me in trouble? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I've seen some BookTube and YouTube videos that just drive me absolutely nuts. Um, but uh, I, I think one of the things that frustrates me most is some people, I don't know, I'm not naming names, but seriously, check your volume levels. I mean, I'm probably sitting here, I got my volume turned up. And I mean, and I know you guys can hear me. And of course, I'm loud anyway. I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm kind of loud. All right. But you get some people, you turn their video on. It's like you turn it all the way up and you're still going, what? What? What are they saying? And I'm not that deaf. Okay. Seriously, check your volume levels. That is one thing that frustrates me about a lot of con about some content creators is you can't hear them. They might have the most interesting thing to say, you know, but you wouldn't know it, all right? And like I said, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. If you know who you are, then, you know, I don't know, check your volume. If you need a microphone, buy a microphone or something, but we want to hear you. You know, what you have to say is as important as what anybody else has to say, all right? So, yeah, that is one thing that frustrates me. The other thing... Uh, this one's kind of a hard one, and I hope that I'm not guilty of it, but, uh, you get some folks on here, they might do a, a book channel, they might do a movie channel, uh, they might do, I don't know, they might do a channel on, um, making model airplanes, and they get this mentality like their channel is the only channel that matters, you know? Uh, like if you shouldn't be watching anybody but their channel, they have all the answers. They know everything there is to know about books or movies or making model airplanes. Again, not pointing any fingers, but that they are out there. That ch those that type of channel is out there. Uh, yeah. So, and I'm not going to go too much further with this. I don't want to go any further with this because, like I said, I'm not trying to step on any toes. But those are just little things that frustrate me about uh, content creators. Uh, and now I'm going to flip the switch, okay, or flip the script or whatever. Um, because the next question is what trait, what frustrates you the most about, uh, your own, uh, content? Okay. Uh, I have, I, I struggle with thinking that my content is important at all. I struggle with thinking that anybody wants to watch or, listen to what I have to say. That I struggle with that. I struggle with a lot of things like that. I have, I do, I admit I have self-esteem issues. So yeah, and sometimes I, I have to fake uh, confidence. My wife has always said that if you don't have confidence, then fake it. You know, and I do that quite a bit. All right. Um, and I will, as far as frustrating, it frustrates me when I and this is just an example of you really don't know how people are going to react to a certain video, and sometimes it will surprise you. Um, early, early, early on as a YouTube 
uh, content creator, I did my top five favorite werewolf novels, and that has been my most popular uh, video. I mean, it's well over a thousand, maybe even more views, which is astonishing to me, all right? So, and, I, and I'm like, it's just about werewolf books. Why is this more popular than any other? And then I've had some that I'll create and think, okay, you know what? I think people are going to like this. They're going to really react to this and be like, crickets. I hear crickets, you know, and, and I get nothing. So those are kind of little things that frustrate me about my own content and I guess also the way people might react to them. But that is just me. And there you go. All right. And last but not least is how do you motivate yourself to keep going? I just do. I just do. You you know, I mean, there are days when I'm like, yeah, I don't want to make a video. Oh, gosh, I just don't want to do this. I'm tired of this. It's like, you know, oh, just kill me now. You know, but I'll just go, you know what? Get it done. Get it out there. And just don't worry about it. So that's what I do. You know, I just, that's how I motivate myself to keep going. It's just do it. All right. And that is not an ad for Nike and it is not an ad for anything else. It is just me saying that that is my way of reacting. I make videos sometimes when I don't feel like making videos. Okay. So that's how I handle it. How I, uh, how I keep going. All right. Uh, so that is the content creator tag and I, um, I'm not going to tag anybody for this one. If you feel like doing this one, then, then knock yourself out. Have a great time with it. Um, and it's Saturday afternoon. It's a nice day out. Uh, it's probably about 4.30 in the afternoon. Anyway, it's a nice day. This is going to post on Monday afternoon, uh, my usual time of 2.30 in the afternoon, Pacific time. And uh, yeah, that's it. So you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and please stay safe out there. Thank you. Bye.